civil I know. I said letting your ex-husband stay here after the earthquake was a mistake. But I was wrong. It's a lot of fun to have him around. I can stop that. I am a freeloader. I don't belong here. When I wake up, I'll move out and never bother my ex-wife again. Unless she wants me to move furniture. Okay, go ahead. I say we stuff him full of candy and beat him like a piñata. Hello? Oh, hi, Jonathan. How did you get my number? A Romulan spy? Ha ha, good one. No, I haven't changed my mind about Anaheim. I promised my daughter I'd take her to, uh, the circus. <laughs> okay, you live long and prosper, too. Bye. Ech, poo. What are you talking about? He's gorgeous. Why didn't you go out with him? He didn't ask me. You wouldn't go out with him even if he did. That's because I'm still healing. You've been separated a year. You're hiding. I am not. I'm just waiting for the right young buck to come along. <laughs> you know what your problem is? You're both addicted to orgasms. Did I black out and miss something? No, I just think you're both pathetic. All you ever talk about is men and sex. Men and sex. It's so boring. What's the big prize? A few seconds of involuntary muscular contractions. Well, sometimes you also get car fare. <laughs> Zoe, Marianne and I are talking about meaningful relationships. And yes, orgasms can be a part of that. A wonderful part where two people connect on a very intimate and spiritual level. Even if you're faking it. Here he is. Like I ever gave him that satisfaction. Well, <clears throat> I've chosen chastity. Good. That's a wonderful choice for a woman your age. Oh, this has nothing to do with my age. I've chosen it forever. Oh, really? Well, I don't want to invalidate your feelings, but I've made that choice about 50 times in my life. <laughs> After this one, I swore on a stack of Bibles. Yes, well, I'm serious. I don't want to wind up a bitter, middle-aged, divorced woman who's obsessed with her erogenous zones. <laughs> Am I bitter? I thought she was talking about me. This is a phase, right? Oh, yeah. All girls go through that chastity stage, didn't you? Well, I did dress up as a nun once, but it was an anniversary present for my husband. <laughs> that one? No. Hello, anybody home? That one. Come in, your holiness. Hello, ladies. Jeff, don't get up. I bought this for Zoe. She keeps forgetting it at my house. I can't imagine why. I never guess who I ran into this morning. Phil Asher. Oh, yeah? How is he? He and his wife broke up. Oh, too bad. They were a great couple. Is he dating yet? Don't even think about it. Come on. Phil is a good guy. He's down to earth, kind, hardworking. So are the Amish, darling, but I don't want to date them either. You know what your problem is? You would rather sit at home and make haagen and Stola Schneier floats than get out there and meet somebody. First of all, I would never defile good vodka with a dairy product. <laughs> and secondly, I have no desire to sit here and be called a coward simply because I don't want to date a bland little man named Phil. Think you had a nerve? She knows I'm right. Hey, what do you think about inviting Phil tonight to Forenzi and we'll accidentally bump them into one another? So, I would be like... Your date. Only in the sense that you pick up the check. <laughs> Sounds fair. I'm going to take this up to Zoe. Eight o'clock, okay? Perfect. Thanks, Ira. You never dressed up like a nun for me. 